everyone and welcome to another Swift video. In this video we're going to be learning how to make an app and this app is called um, Is It Prime? So what this does is if you enter a number like if I enter 2, it, 2 is prime. But if you enter 4, two, 4 is not prime. It tells you if the number is prime or not. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm just going to quit the simulator and let's open up Xcode. I'm going to create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application. I'm going to call it is it prime. And just I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And here we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to select landscape left and landscape right because we're going to actually use that for this app. And let's go to main.storyboard. The first thing I'm going to drag on is a label. And it's going to say, is it prime? And I'm going to drag on the text field. And this will be for the number. I'm just going to leave it that. And I'm also going to drag on a button. That will be for Is It Prime? Find or find out if the number is prime and yeah, this is pretty long and drag on another label and this is just gonna be a label because we're gonna change this to that. Oh. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to see, do some audio, auto layout. So I'm going to select all this, control click, drag this way, and it's central vertically in container. Now this is also central, or, central horizontally in container. This one's the same thing. So keep on doing that. Okay. So we added all the constraints and we're just gonna look here. There. I'm just gonna do update constraints and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to view controller at Swift and oh what's this? Oh geez, I already said I wanted to update the constraints. <laughs> it's fine. So, yeah, let's go to the controller at Swift, and here I'm going to type in an outlet. I'm going to have two, two outlets, and the first one's going to be, this one's going to be a label for, or this is going to be the number, which is the number entered, so it's going to be a UI text view, or text field. It's still makes a mark. The other one. This one's going to be. N result. Label. And it's going to be a UI label. And we'll have an action. And it's going to 
going to be called button. button pressed and I'm going to put parentheses in, in the center is going to be any object and here I'm going to put uh, I'm going to have a variable called variable called number int and it's going to be equal to number dot text dot to int and next line I'm gonna put if number int is not equal to nil and here I'm gonna have a variable called unwrapped Unwrapped number. I'm going to set it equal to number int exclamation mark. On the next line, I'm going to have another variable. It's going to be a Boolean, so I'm going to call it is prime. And we set it equal to true for now. If I'm gonna have another if statement, if the unwrapped number equal to one, then its prime is not gonna be true. So I'm gonna set to false. Yep. And after that, I'm gonna have another if statement. If unwrapped number is not equal to two and is not equal and unwrapped number is not equal to one, then we do this and it's I have four statement called it's gonna be a variable called I and it's gonna be two. I is less than unwrapped number and I plus plus. And I'm gonna have an if statement, another one call and it's gonna be unwrapped number is percent sign, which gives the remainder when you divide something. So when you divide unwrapped number by I you, that takes the remainder, and if it's set, if it's zero, that then is prime is also false. So after you've got that, I'm gonna have another if statement but it's not in this if statement and it's going to be right here and this one is going to be if um if un what uh, sorry if its prime is equal to true then we're going to say result label dot text equals an exclamation marks we're gonna put backslash parentheses and here I'm gonna put unwrapped number is prime else result label dot text equals backslash Parentheses unwrapped number is not prime and after that go out of here and 
I'm going to put elf right here. And say result. Label that text equals it. Please enter something. And here, just to make sure the label doesn't show up, I'm going to say result. Label dot text equals nothing. So that will work. Sorry. So we don't actually have to put that. Doesn't really matter. Even if, like, the sample one. Okay. So let's say I put that. I'm just going to enter a number 56. And. Oh, yeah, I forgot to link everything up. So. And. Oh, fix this. It's really bothering me. I'm just going to um, so link this up. This will be button pressed. This will be the label. And this will be the text field. Okay, this should work. So, let's say, I'm just going to enter, hello, I'm going to enter 100. 100 is not prime, and 2 is prime, 3 is prime, 5 is, 5 is prime, 7 is prime, 9 is not prime. So, this works. And what do we have here? So this constraint has some problems. So um to fix this I'm just gonna, first I'm gonna clear the constraints. And I'm going to re-add them. So I'm just going to go here. here. So I'm going to add missing constraints. And this should work. Okay, yeah, it works. So, and also, I just wanted to say something. There's one more thing. And we have to go to this text field, go to the attribute inspector, and the keyboard type is going to be a number pad. Just to make sure they can't enter any text or else it won't really work. So, if this number is too big, it freezes, apparently. So, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and oops, I hope to see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.